Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about Earned Value Analysis in Microsoft Project 2013. So what is Earned Value Analysis? As per the definition, it is a standard industrial method of measuring the progress of a particular project at any given point of time by its completion date and final cost, also by analyzing the variance in the schedule and the budget as the project progresses. For earned value analysis, we will be needing two things that is first thing is the planned value which is basically the budgeted amount and also we need the actual cost which is the actual cost of the project till date. Alright, so this is about earned value analysis. Earned value is also calculated by multiplying the total project budget by it the percentage completed by the project. Moving on to the next slide. In this slide, we can see there is a report of earned value. Now in this video, I am specifically going to talk about these five columns that is my planned value, earned value, AC that is actual cost, SV that is schedule variance and CV that is cost variance. We will have a better understanding of this topic in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about earned value analysis using Microsoft Project 2013. Now this is the most important feature of this particular software so let me tell you in depth about it. So in order to explain you about earned value analysis let me make some changes to my table. Now I want the earned value report to be mentioned out here. So in order to get that particular table I have to go under the task under the view menu under the view menu I'll go to the table drop down menu if I click on this drop down menu I have to move to the more table tabs right the moment I click on this more table tab I can see there are so many tables available but out of which I want to click on earned value because we are doing earned value analysis alright guys so let me hit on apply the moment I hit on apply now if you see there are some changes into my screen now previously I used to find duration start date finish date and predecessor and rest of the details but now it has changed to PV that is plan value earned value AC that is actual cost SV that is schedule variance now let me explain you these uh, constraint one by one but before I do that I need to first update the project so let me go and update this project so if I click on project tab if my report is as of now updated but if you guys want to see the changes I have you guys have to go and update the project so if I go under the project tab and under the status group I'll click on update project I'll click on update project it is asking me yes I'll hit ok so now my project has been updated now if you see all the values has been completely updated up to the uh, today's date so let me start with the very first one the very first column it says plan value now what does the pop-up menu says when I go to my plan value column it there is a white box which displays some uh, message in it it says budgeted cost of work schedule contains the cumulative time phase baseline cost up to status date or today's date so basically it updates up to the status date or up to today's date so that's the reason I have updated the project and now I can see the planned value so planned value is the value which we have focused for our particular project so this is the planned value for my project that what is the cost involved in this project life cycle so moving on with the next one the next one says earned value so let me go to this particular column and read out the option which says budgeted cost of work performed contains the cumulative value of the person complete multiplied by time faced baseline cost so basically what it is done it has updated the project till today and it has taken 100% as its completion that is the reason I am getting this value so this value is being in consideration after the work is completed 100% so if you have seen for some of the value where the work has been 100% completed the planned value and the earned value is similar similarly for this for business analysis it is same but for the rest of the feature it has not 100% completed and that is the reason it is showing me the difference in the value moving on with the next one the next column it says actual cost so actual cost what it says actual cost of work performed ACWP contains the 
कॉस्ट इनकर्ड ऑफ वर्क अप टू द प्रोजेक्ट स्टेटस डेट और टूडेज डेट सो बेसिकली इट इन द सिंपल वर्ड आई कैन से एक्चुअल कॉस्ट इज द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज एंड और द मटेरियल विच वी हैव यूज to provide it which we have used in the resource sheet in the resource sheet we have mentioned some of the resources it has taken the actual cost of the resources and it has given me the value which has incurred in it so this was about actual cost moving on with the next one it says sv that is nothing but my schedule variance so what the schedule variance says it says it is the difference in cost term between the current progress and the baseline plan of a task all right guys so let me explain to you in this in a better format in which i will explain you about schedule variance the schedule variance in simple word it can be said that it is it will show the difference between the earned value earned value and the plan value if it is negative it will come in curly brackets but if it is positive it will be shown like this so it is basically the difference between the earned value and plan value if you see the difference out here is 1.89 dollars which i can easily see in this particular column that is my schedule variance moving on with the next one the next column says about cost variance so let me read out the white box text inside it it says it contains the difference between how much it should have cost and how much it has actually costed for this particular project so it is the difference between the earned value and the actual cost the cv that is cost variance is the difference between the earned value and the actual cost and this is what i see on the screen right now as we have already seen what does plan value earned value actual cost schedule variance and cost variance helps us in the analysis of earned value now we will focus on this three tab which says eac that is estimate at variation at completion bac that is baseline cost and vac that is variance at completion we will have a better understanding in our practical approach in this video we are going to talk about earned value analysis and i will be specifically talking about EAC BAC and VAC I have already explained you about PV that is plan value earned value actual cost schedule variance and cost variance now let's focus on these three columns and what it means all right so let me start with the this column it says BAC that is my baseline cost in simple words if i'd like to explain you it is the baseline cost of the project which is defined by the cost involved including resources material and other stuff which are being used by the project so this is about the baseline cost which involves the cost of all the resources that i have used in my particular project moving on with the next one it says eac that is estimate at completion it says estimate at completion in simple word if i'd like to explain you this it says the estimate of the resources that have been used ideally the eac value and the bac value should be equal so that the project goes hand to hand if you see in few of the cases the eac uh, eac value and the bac value are similar but in few of the cases i can see the value differs all right i can see 190 and i can see 189 out here a difference of almost 1.191 dollar so this is about eac i move on with the vac that is variance at completion so what it says basically it is the difference of the baseline cost and the estimate at completion so if you see my vac value is the difference between the eac and the bac values so if i subtract these two value i will get the variance at completion now one thing i want to share you about eac is that my eac value sometime it will go up and sometime it will go down but always remember that whenever this value goes down it's a good news for your project because the cost which is involved is reducing so i will always focus or always aim on reducing this value so that my project runs smoothly with some cost remains 
all right so whether it goes down or whether it goes up it totally depends on my resource allocation so it's a good news if it comes down which is useful for your project all right guys so this was all about this video